everybody up. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I hope you like barking dogs. So that's what I got today. Hi. Oh, goodness. Yeah, goodness gracious. Okay, okay. Um, hello, everyone. It's Rita. <laughs> Good morning. It's Tuesday. Yay. Um, it's Tuesday and what's turning out to be a fun card week. Um, hey, Lisa, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Hi, Barbara. Um, Christine, hello. How's everybody doing? Diane, good morning. So we are, Ardeen, how are you? We are doing cards this week, back to school, and and uh, so we can get... We can pick up our uh, crafting. I never stopped, but uh, pick up our crafting and, and uh, make some lovely cards for the upcoming fall holidays, whether it's Halloween or Thanksgiving or just fall, autumn. Um, we're going, we're making some great cards. There are also some really awesome cards that were just recently added into Design Space, which is what we're going to work on today. We are working on this adorable unicorn card, which I have dolled up. Um, and I have actually changed it up a little bit on the front and on the inside but this part here is I didn't touch what that is so I want to show you how this goes together it looks way more complicated than it is it's really not complicated so I'm going, yay, Donna, first life. I'm going to be telling you how to do that. So um, uh, also I want to, I have a couple of announcements to make. And um, that is one, we have our September bundle of joy going on now. Um, that is the joy giveaway that we do every month. Well, we do a giveaway every month, a large one. So um, that's already started it's in the works and i will post i will continue to post the links to that um i'm not sure what day the lilac giveaway is over it might be today i'm not really sure so i gotta go check that um but if it's still open i would encourage you to get your name in for the giveaway as well for the lilac cricket cutie um the other thing to mention is that this is it this coming yes this coming saturday we are having our monthly zoom call which is a call that anybody can get on uh anybody in our chatting group can get on and sort of just check in say hi we're going to be talking about fall and some different fall projects i need to get some information from you too about what you want to do yesterday I was talking to I was talking to Shirley and um, I said do you think we do too many lanterns and she said no I think that I think you can never have too many lanterns and I sort of agree with her but I also want to make sure that I'm doing projects that you all want to be doing um, and this time of year it tends to be a lot of dreaming tree and SVG cut projects and so I want to keep it sort of uh, you know trying to keep it sort of balanced uh, because those are generally uh, paid files so um, so today we're going to do that unicorn one and uh, tomorrow we're going to be doing a design space card that that I sort of fiddled with I gotta put a uh, I, I found a really nice uh, in in what do you call it sentiment in here but this one here it it was like a neon sort of design which I did not like um, and I just saw a concertina card I don't even know what a concertina Tina card is Ardeen Concertina. Do you mean quinceanera? Um, 
I don't know what concertina is. Help me out with that, okay? So this one here, I've um, I've worked reworked this so that it looks more like a fall card. I will put a um, an insert or what do you call it, a sentiment on the inside. Then we're going to be doing this really vintagey uh, Rob and Bob card. Uh, it. I have not changed too much about this, except I did put this really fun in, uh, sentiment inside. When witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, tis near Halloween. And I, I want to show you how we did this and how, what font we chose um, and, and all of that. But this is a, a standard card that uh, we've made in the past, but I didn't know if people um, if people have seen it because there's a couple of and this is by our friends Rob and Bob. So we'll be doing that on uh, Thursday, um, and then I still I just don't have a project for Saturday. So I'd love to hear your. Oh, we don't need a project for Saturday because we we're having Zoom. Okay, good. So I, I just have to find a project for Friday. So um, a freebie project for Friday. I heard on last week's uh, the last week's barn thing that you guys wanted to do a haunted house and there are actually a number of haunted houses out there um and there's even like a little haunted barn from svg cuts that i've been wanting to do uh, i found a free haunted house i'm just going to try it out i don't know how good the file is but um but it's by Miss Mandy. So uh, let me know, everyone. And please, please, please don't forget to like and comment and follow and do all that good stuff. It really, really, really helps me. It really does. Um, and and uh, I'm counting on you to reach my year-end goal of 20,000 subscribers uh, on my YouTube channel. And uh, it really, I'm I'm getting close with your help. I have like 15,700 subscribers. And so we just need a few thousand more friends to join us so I can make that, make that goal. All right. So let's get started. So we're going to be making this card. Um, this is actually very uh it reminds me of uh, a kind of card called uh, Love Pop card, which you may or may not know about. They were on Shark Tank. It's two guys. I want to just show you this. These two guys who were uh, training to be naval ex. Oh, sorry, naval architects, and they went to Harvard Business School. Um, they went to Vietnam together, I guess, I don't know, they're friends or something, or they knew each other from the Navy or something. But um, so they went to Vietnam and discovered Kirigami, which is a lot, a lot of what we do is Kirigami, which is just fold. It's really Kirigami means just paper folding. So they took their, um, their engineering backgrounds, and then they uh, apparently combined kirigami with a sort of slice form structure that's used in ship designing and they developed something called slice gami slice gami i guess and that's kind of what this is um so it's called a pop-up card but to get really to get really um into it, it does involve a lot of slicing and creating sort of a 3D form. I'm going to show you in all the different ways how it looks. And um, there are, as, as of yesterday, there were three. And as of this morning, there are four of these cards in design space. And we can do them all if they're interesting to you. There's a balloon pop-up card. Here's the one we're doing today. Here's the cupcake and then a heart balloon. And I want to do them all. So if you're interested in doing them all, then I will do them all. Um, and so that's where I got this design from. I did 
uh, sort of make it a little bit my own. Of course, I had to gild that lily. And so I used different colors. And in the front, I actually did a, a cutout. And um, so the original one, where's the original one? And I did envelopes because you guys are always on me about envelopes. So this was the original one that I did. And this is, see, it's very, it's kind of plain, um, but I decided to jazz it up with some glitter cardstock and some, some sort of like a tie dye uh, paper. I used some holographic paper. I used a glitter on the mane and on the tail. So um, I made it a little bit uh, better, I think better. Um, but now the thing about these cards is that they don't use a lot of glue. So um, if you're opening and closing it a lot, you have to make sure your pieces are in really good. So here in this case, I'm just going to pull this off so you can see. It goes together like this and there's no glue that that um, happens. And, and the other thing, the reason why we don't have the glue is so that you can fold it. So see how this folds? It's like a honeycomb structure, just like that, okay? So let's go ahead and have a look at this file and then we'll put it together. Um, you can do it with all the extra touches and I can give you that file, but it is in design space. So here I am, let's just go to a canvas and I'm going to go over here to projects. You see here, projects and you can see all these, all of the most recent projects that came up. And so here are the four um, pop-up cards. So we're going to be doing this unicorn one. Now, one of the things that I noticed about this in their desire to get a lot of pictures in here, they have, um, the, it's caused a little bit of a problem in the way the pictures are. So, um, so you have to do a lot of scrolling to see the different steps, you see? Um, and then you have to like sort of hover there, but we're gonna go over all of that. So all you have to do is hit customize and you'll see what the file looks like. So the file is made up of, um, here, there, it comes all grouped together. I'm gonna ungroup. I did keep the envelope. I'm just gonna hide it for right now. And um, let's just get, a little close as you can see. So this is the actual card base. And then these are going to go on the inside, okay? Um, and that is to hold our unicorn in place. And then these pieces are going to actually really hold the unicorn in place. So this is going to be... Um, the base, this is the inside of the card, and then these are the pieces that hold the unicorn. And then the unicorn consists of all these little cutouts. You see, there's a little bit of, um, of, uh, blah, 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 scoring here, but only on these two pieces with these tabs here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you say wanted to do this on your joy, you actually could, as long as you, uh, you know, did your own base. Okay. Um, because this would actually kind of work, I think, or you might have to make it a little bit smaller. And by the way, if you want to make it smaller, you can do that. You can customize it. You can make it even bigger if you wanted to. But if you do, um, <laughs> I know I made, I'm making some envelopes just because I have a lot of paper. And so I was like, well, this time of year, I have a lot of fall paper. So I might as well use some fall paper up. Um, and just so you guys can see what I do with all my paper. But, um, so if, again, if you want to make this card, uh, bigger or smaller, just make sure that you grab everything, align it, uh, uh, you can just align it center so that you can see that this is a, the end product is a five by seven inch card. So if you wanted to make it smaller or bigger, because bigger is fun too, right? Um, so there, uh, there's how you would do it. You have to have all of the pieces together and you have to make it so that it, uh, you know, so that it's, 
sizes appropriately. You can't just size the envelope or just size the card. You have to size everything that's inside of the card. So there you go. Now, um, in my effort to gild that lily, um, I did a couple of things. The first thing I did was I thought that the front was kind of plain. Now, I think the front of a lot of pop-up cards are plain. And I understand the logic there because, you know, you're going to display it open. But I still think, hey, it's a card service. We need to decorate it. You know, we just need to decorate it. So what I decided to do was cut out in holographic this front piece. And then I wanted to... um I wanted to save this cutout for the envelope, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Save it and use it as a vinyl, um, like almost like a closure, right? Um, and then what else did I decide? So I struggled with this car because of the back has an opening. So I'm going to show you how I um, sort of change that up a little bit. I changed the color of the base from white to pink. I changed uh, some of these pieces, including like this sort of whooshy cloud to a glitter cardstock. And then some of the little pieces I changed, like the mane. And there are two manes and two tails because we're going to be seeing this on both sides. Same with the very teeny tiny uh, unicorn uh, pieces right here for the, for the horn. You can cut those out in gold or gold glitter, but I actually use just glitter, um, glitter glue. I uh, use stickles because uh, having a really tiny piece, it's really tiny uh, piece like that. It just, just seemed a bit wasteful. So that's what I did. I also changed uh, up the coloring of the card and also the envelope. And I used, I want to show you what I used. I used this uh, on the bright side paper pad. It's a recollections paper pad. And yes, it was a hot buy. I don't know when I bought it, but that means a hot buy means that I bought it at Michael. So maybe you have this. It has a lot of um, sort of blues and purples and some gold. Love this. Love this. Okay, and some gold and everything. So that's what I did the envelope in. Um, and it just reminded me of unicorns. For the front, I used, this is also Michael's paper. It's a holographic kind of paper that you can buy, craft on the back, um, that I use a lot on the insert cards in the Joy. And you can buy this as well as all kinds of foil card, like foil card stock from Michael's as well. I think they might still be having a sale on it, but um, the, their card stock, even though most of it's eight and a half by 11, then um, I, I love it because I use it to make my cards, especially my joy cards and stuff. And it's so easy to work with. And there's so many colors and it's cheap because let's talk, you know, I, there, you can never have too much paper. I have a lot of paper, but I also buy it on sale. I don't buy the premium paper and not wait for a sale. So I look for sales. Um, and so that's, th this is often on sale. Um, I know, and Cricut is often out of cardstock. We've had conversations with them um, about it, and they are working hard. But the thing that really bothers me, no glitter cardstock. Um, buy one, get one 50% off. That's not the best deal, but it's an okay deal. Okay. So, so there's that. So anyway, um, so that's what I use for some paper here. I use glitter here and I used, uh, that pretty on the bright side paper. And then all of this is just white card stock. I changed the front cover to pink and I'm just going to, uh, change that color so you can see so you can see what that will look like. I don't know. I just wanted a pop of pink in there. So, um, but then I wanted to put something on the front. So here's what I did. I duplicated the, the face of the card and I moved my original over here. Then I 
went down and I detached this, okay? So I detached it, detaches down here. It's the paper clip in reverse, okay? So that's detach. And when I detached it, it took away the score line because I don't need the score line, okay? Um, this piece is 10 by seven. Uh, so what I'm going to do is add a shape to it. This is kind of a reversal, how you reverse images in design space. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to add a square shape and I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to size it so that it is five inches wide by seven inches tall. You see that? It covers the right-hand side of the card. You could also do this where you'd slice this off, but it wouldn't give you the reverse image. So I'm going to make it slightly smaller than that because I'm making like a mat, okay? So I'm going to make the width uh, 4.75 and then the height 6.75. All right, so now you see this is the way that it's going to look. I'm going to change the color just so you can, it looks better, okay? So here's our uh, front of the card that's going to go on the front of the card. So now what we're going to do is place it kind of where we want it. I mean, this isn't super important that you place it the correct way, but you select all the both, both, uh, layers and then we're going to go down here at the bottom of the screen right here this is slice okay so let's slice and you'll see what happens when you slice whoops this is what happens when you slice so slicing is like cutting something with a cookie cutter okay um and and cutting cookie dough with a cookie cutter so think in that way so you have your pretty ornate cookie cutter and then you have your dough and you're going to press it in and what happens you end up with like the leftover that's what this is this is leftover and then you get your cutout which is here and then the other cutout so we get a duplicate of that so this here piece um normally i just would throw that away but i'm going to save it and use it as a decal on my envelope Okay, so that's kind of cool. And I don't need this one because it's just a duplicate of what I had. So now I have this card with this on the front and it's going to make the card thicker, sort of shoring it up. The only thing I do not like is that it's cut through. So when you go and put these pieces on there, yeah, you can see the purple in there. But um, I always mess up the glue. So if you are one like me, you mess up the glue, here's what you would do. You'd add a shape, maybe a square. It would be fine. And we're going to just shape it so that it covers the entire thing right here. You might want to cut this out in pink. If you want, I think pink would look cute because then you can see the pink of the thing. Or you can use a patterned paper. So then when you cut it out, you're going to have, um, here's your card base, right? And this is the holographic thing. And then you have this here. So let me show you what that looks like in the back, which is going to be hidden by this piece, you see, so it's just sort of a way that if you mess up the glue like I do, that that's what you could do for that. Now, I'll give you all of all of this file that we've rearranged. Um, we're not going to cut it, so uh, we're just going to put it together. And uh, so I'm going to bring you down here, and we can put this together. So it's really just kind of a basic card. This is my original one that I put together that... It, did, it wasn't anything too fancy except for, obviously, the um, Sliceagami Unicorn. And again, uh, just to kind of tell you about this, is that there's no glue used to put this together. So what that ends up doing is, um, if you tend to do this a lot with the card, it's going to fall apart um, a little bit. You might have to like rearrange it. But basically, it's this piece, like a honeycomb piece, and then here on these little 
uh, I don't know, clouds or the whoosh or whatever, there are two uh, slits and those slits are where that score mark is and that's how it's gonna go in there, okay? So, um, and then this is just the same thing, only kind of, I took it apart so you can kind of see how it's gonna go together. But also you see, I used all this different paper. Wait, and there's the holographic on the front. And there is the envelope. So let's bring it over here so you can see what this um, ends up being. I actually cut them out two ways. So this is the envelope, pretty simple. Let's do that while we're here. And we're just going to fold on the score lines. I liked using this paper, so I thought, yeah, it looks pretty cool for a unicorn type card. And the thing I like about these sort of style cards is that they can be folded and you can mail them. So that's cool. Um, and so who wouldn't like a unicorn card? I don't know. I like unicorns. So um, you're just going to glue here at these two tabbies, sort of at the fold like this. And then just put a little bit on the bottom flap. And this is where you would put that cutout, which you'd cut out in vinyl to close it up. I think that would look really cute. I often, you know, it, I, like I keep thinking, oh, maybe I can develop some kind of glue so that you can lick it and stick it, but I never get around to it. So I thought having a little closure would be kind of cute. So there is the envelope, pretty easy. Um, and then let's look at the card base. So here's the card base that I did. I also cut it out in the original white, just so you can see kind of the difference. So there it is. And I used this card stock to cut out my first uh, unicorn and I didn't like it. It was too textured and made it, um, it was too loose. This was AC card stock. So I switched to Cricut card stock for the cutout. So just wanted to show you that. And then the card on the inside has these two base pieces, which I also cut out twice. You could, so you can cut it out in purple um, or white. It doesn't matter what you want to do. I actually cut it out in these sort of uh, pieces because I think that they're cool. Um, I love this color and I thought it was, it was kind of like a ombre or something <clears throat> and I'm just trying to see it. I got it in there right so see how that covers this but you have to be very careful with your glue and I'm not always that careful with my glue so I just thought I would mention it and obviously this is one single-sided cardstock so it's going to be white on the back that's why you would make that extra square if you wanted to so and then on the front here's our cutout that we did and see how it makes it sort of nice and thick on the card so let's we can put those together and then we'll just head straight to the unicorn so let's put this on the front this will keep uh, the card give the card some heft too. It's not just decorative, um, and especially because we have this pretty ornate uh, cutout right in the middle of the card could cause a little bit of problems if you're not using thick enough uh, card stock there, okay? So we're going to just place that. When you're working with uh, foil and holograph, you want to keep the glue away from the front because it can smear and it's hard to get off. Um, I mean, you always want to keep the glue away from the front pieces, right? But you have to be especially careful with, um, with the foil piece because it really shows up and you can't kind of get rid of it. Okay, so there's the front. We're going to open this up and we're going to put these two pieces in here. Again, if you wanted to, you know, you could put that there. But what we're going to do is just sort of avoid the middle because we don't want... Um, we don't want for it to sort of get there and it just would look yucky. So let's avoid the middle by doing this.
Okay. So this goes in and it's a pretty much a match. There is going to be a little tiny bit of room here at the, at the fold line. Okay, and then this one goes, you don't have to worry about this one. Just put your glue in there. Okay. So I recommend you do these two pieces first and then move them out of the way. Um, because then we're just going to be working with the unicorn. So there is our actual card, just like that. It's kind of cool. And then these two pieces will come into play after the unicorn is developed. You'll notice that they have slits here, one on each side. This one is going to go here, but don't glue it in just yet. And then this one goes here to complete that cloud. Don't glue it in just yet because we need to be able to manipulate those uh, those slits there, okay? So let's talk unicorns. I got a couple of unicorns cut out here, so we're going to have to, um, this doesn't need to be here. This is extra, extra, okay? Um, okay, so the unicorn, I'm going to have to separate this. I didn't think of it, but... Um, <clears throat> it consists of, the actual unicorn consists of three pieces for the base. There are, let me see if I can find them all. Where are you, unicorn? Here we go. All right. So you see, this is what, um, how they will cut out. This is actually opposite, but that's how it cuts out, okay? So um, I use Cricut cardstock for this. So I'm going to turn it this way so you can just sort of get the visual. So here's the um, three pieces that are going to make up the body of that uh, pop out, pop up. Okay, and then remember we're making kind of like a honeycomb. So we need pieces that will sort of dissect the unicorn. So there are three pieces there. This is for the chest area right here. And then there is a slightly larger for the middle and then the circle for the back, okay? Um, the other pieces, which are just cloud pieces, are going to then sort of fortify our structure. There's two, one that has this tab and one that has this tab. And this one here is the front piece, I think. I think they're sort of the same. Yeah, kind of the same except for where that tab is. So <clears throat> one is gonna go in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about the lighting. Um, so one's going to go in the back and this one is the the tab is actually going to go in the front and then the rest of the pieces are just to hold the honeycomb together and then also to decorate our unicorn so let's decorate the unicorn because it's quick and easy so we're going to take this middle middle piece first and we are going to do it on both sides. So we're just putting that mane and the fluffy tail, which I cut out in purple glitter. And we're gonna put it on this side and this one goes here. And again, this is where you can use whatever you want, obviously. Um, if you have some some cool rainbow paper, that would look pretty cool. Um, but you have to remember that it's cut out on two sides, and so that's how they go on. There's actually a little tiny sort of, I don't know, bangs. Are they bangs? I don't know. They're bangs. They go on here. This one's actually the opposite side. This is the correct side. Okay, so um, let's put that there. If you want to not use that cutout piece, which I didn't do, um, I, I used this stuff, which is um, called Stickles. It's a gold glitter glue. It, you don't have to use the Stickles brand, but it's what I had. So if you didn't want to cut out this little teeny tiny um, unicorn horn, I had to cut the tip off of this because it wasn't coming out very well. All right. You can use this like this. 
or not, whatever you want to do, cut it out in the glitter cardstock, who knows, whatever you want to do, okay? So then we're going to flip it over, but we had put the glue there, so that was dumb, Rita. <laughs> um, and then we're going to put the tail and the mane on the other side. I'd recommend you do this first before putting it together because you don't want to fuss around with that piece in the middle all too much. And I don't know where the bang, oh, there's the bang, okay. All right. So put on the main with the bangs and the unicorn piece if you have it and then the tail so it's on either side like this so turn it around like this and then we are going to take the middle piece again then we're going to take these three slicey things oh, side pieces and we're going to take the first one which is kind of oval shaped and we're going to put it in the first slice of the unicorn here now the important thing here is that you're you're putting slice on slice and then you're it's sort of like um when they make corrugated cardboard uh like for protecting your christmas ornaments kind of thing you see that so that goes in the first one. And you'll see that there are three slices. We want the one that's in the middle. We're gonna do that here with this one, push it all the way up. And the same for this one. So there is the first piece of our honeycomb sort of design. Then we're gonna take the uh, front body, so the left side of the of the unicorn here and we are going to use this bottom slice with the body so we're going to just put this one here in there you might you might have to fiddle a little bit I like trying to do it all three sort of at once because it's a little hard to do but mm -mm -mm push it all the way down because you want both of those um, slices to really create the body there. You see that? All right. And then on this side, this one here, remember you're going to be using, this is the front paw or the front foot or whatever. The What do they call it? The hoof? The hoof. And we're going to turn it sort of the other way. And then we are going to do the same thing, which is slide it into that, into that slice. So there's two slices that you're matching up, one coming from the bottom, one coming from the top, and there is your unicorn. It's not, it can stand by itself, but you want it to be able to, you know, look pretty and everything and, um, and stay together. So we're going to use some other pieces to, sort of to hold that up. But I just want to point out, no glue is, is used here. And you see how this is how we're going to be able to fold it. You see, cause it's like kind of like a honeycomb. So the, um, the, the next piece are the next pieces are these, um, end pieces. And then the, uh, the the clouds. I just want to make sure I got the right clouds. So there's, I think, four cloud pieces. Oh, come on, Rita. All right, here's this one and this one. These are all extra. Okay. So here's uh, here's our unicorn. These are the two pieces that are going to go like sliced in, and then these are the four pieces so there's kind of like a a big medium and then smaller small medium large extra large I guess and these are the the leftover pieces that's all that's left the smallest one we're going to start with the back 
okay? And you'll notice it has these two slices and then these two slices. So these two slices are for the, um, the unicorn, okay? So we're gonna put that in there like this. Make sure you're pushing it all the way down really well. There we go, okay? So now he has a little bit of, you know, leverage there. Now we're gonna take the large piece and we're gonna do the same thing at the front. Again, we're putting it in to the middle slices, not the outside slices. So here we go. Just like this, okay? Which is kind of cool. I mean, it's cool as it is, but we gotta make it cooler. And now, so we have these other two pieces for the middle. They're slightly different in size. So I I put the, I don't know, the large size. So this is extra large, large, medium, small, right? So we can take either one of those and we'll do the same thing with those. And be patient with yourself because you're, you know, you're working with a lot of just thin pieces of paper and you can, you know, you can sort of rip things if you're not being patient. See what the bottom looks like. And the last piece here, and then we'll put the sides on. There we go. Make sure they're getting all the way in to those pieces like this. So this is what it's going to look like. Kind of reminds me of an egg carton, huh? Um, and then, you know, you can make some changes here. This, I think, needs to go down a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. So we're getting there. Make sure those pieces, again, are correctly put in there. <coughs> and then we have the anchor pieces. So the important thing about the anchor pieces is that they each have um, this little tab. So this one, we're going to fold it. It actually has two folds right here and right here. So these are going to go in like this, I believe. Yep. Mm-hmm. And let me just check and make sure what I did was correct. So, oh, I need to have the bigger clouds on the in the front. So this and this. So this is the way that they should go. Bigger cloud on the front and then the same thing in the back. So you're going to end up with your tab here in the front and then tab in the back. So you could do it either way. I think... I think I did it this way, so with the one with the tab in the front. So I'm just gonna put these all in to our honeycomb structure, and we're gonna have a pretty nice structure here. There we go. Sliceagami, trademark. Um, turn it over. Turn it around. My horn's getting all beat up. But, um, and then this way. So what you want to end up with is having your, um, your uh, uh, tabs opposite of each other. One in the front, one in the back. One's, uh, you know what I mean? Like, so they're the same piece, but they're just kind of opposite each other. Now, um, I'm not doing this correctly. You guys will be a little bit better, but these are supposed to lay flat and this one is not. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to just turn it around so you can see this is what it's supposed to look like. Sort of like a, tic a mega tic-tac-toe. Oops. All right. Like ice trays. Yes, thank you. Just like ice trays. Okay, but here are your, um, here are your little tabs which you're going to tab them out they're going to be out like this not in all right and then we're going to then bring in our card 
and here's where the glue comes in. I'm going to open it up and this piece is going to go sort of up here and then this piece is going to sort of match up here. But what we want to do is place our our pieces on the card and then we're going to take the front piece with this half of the cloud or the whoosh or whatever you want to call that and we're going to sort of get it inside of that slice right here and if you need to you can make the slice a little bit bigger or easier if you need to don't feel like you have to push it in there but so there's the first one and I'm going to gently put turn it over and put a little bit of glue because I don't want it to go all over the place so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that tab and press this tab down like this so I'm holding it to make sure it grabs on oh trash people and then here's the second slice right here make it a little bit bigger and we're going to take that push it down in there and glue it but now it's supposed to be wait am I doing it wrong it's supposed to be like this yeah like this so push it down in here and glue it like that so this is the way that it's going to happen I'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue on here but before you um, you glue it closed, you know, you glue the pieces onto the inside of the closure, I would just kind of like try to help it along and see if it's gonna close right, and it does. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully turn this over and put some glue on those cloud wishes. And you can go ahead and put some more on there once it's placed on there. But here we go. So the first piece is going to go here. You might need to help it along a little bit. Um, but here we go. So there is that. I just make sure. So believe it or not, you are done. And the first couple times you do this, it's going to be like you're going to hold your breath. But it, it does work like this. You might need to sort of... And I have this thing sticking out. I'm not sure why it's sticking out in the back. It should not stick out. Maybe I put this on slightly wrong. But it shouldn't stick out. But that's it. This shouldn't stick out. Mine didn't stick out before. So let's have a look at that. That other one. And you're done. That's it. Very little glue to this card. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, see, it doesn't stick out. So I might have slightly, yeah, I kind of pushed this up really a little too far. So try to push it down a little bit more so that there's a little space here. But that's sort of it. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Um, really, really a lot of fun. And maybe that's going to drive me a little bit nutty. So um, I don't like that that part's sticking out. But that's just the way that it is, I guess and you're done do not like that stick it out <laughs> and so you can then put it in your envelope and some little girl or maybe not so little girl see i don't like it sticking out is gonna be overjoyed overjoyed when she opens this up oh isn't that cute i don't know what happened to our horn oh there's a horn and opens this up and gets this gorgeous unicorn with all the unicorny colors there isn't that great so um so yeah this was fairly simple once you get the concept again it's the three pieces of the body that are held together by these uh sort of like slices i guess so here is this slice like this 
which I'm having trouble with, but okay. So you're creating kind of like, I don't know, like an egg carton or a, like a, it, it's, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Like it's kind of like got, I always think of corrugated cardboard when you're looking at trying to um, put something together and then this piece goes, you could do it that way, but I started from the middle and, and went worked out from there. But this is how it goes. And that's it, isn't that fun? So the other ones probably are similar and I, if I've heard from you and you guys said you wanna see them all, so we will do them all. Not this week, but we will do them all. And uh, so we'll have some stuff to do next week. And this is how it looks. I'm just holding it all different directions so you can kind of see this is how it looks. It's in, it's like kind of like a crate. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but it sure is adorable. And you can make it your own by putting your own papers there and, and using this front if you want to. You don't have to. You can keep it plain. But I kind of like, I kind of like that. And this is going to drive me a little nutter. So I'm probably just going to cut that off because I don't like seeing that sticking out here. I'm just going to cut it off. There we go. That makes me feel so much better. And there is our unicorn card. You could do even more to the front, but but um, it's definitely better than the original one, which was just plain. And this is a really cute envelope. And so there you go, guys. I will give you my modified um, my modified file so that if you want to uh, do the thing with the front, you can, and then create a little vinyl sticker, you can do that as well. So definitely look in the description of the video. Also look in the description of the video after um, the live is over. Look in the description of the video for the links to the Cricut Lilac cutie giveaway and the September bundle of joy giveaway. Remember, you can put your name in twice a day just by uh, commenting, liking, sharing, doing whatever on Facebook and on YouTube. And then you put your name in twice a day. All you need to do is put your name and your email address. And I do not use the information for marketing or spamming or anything like that. I just use it to get in touch with you. Um, and if I were going to use it, I would let you know. Okay. So um, thanks for coming today. Oh, one other thing. Don't forget, there's a huge, huge sale going on at Cricut right now. Plus, if you use my link and code, link and code, which the code is Cricut Chat 10, you're going to get an additional 20%, not 10% as normal. You're going to get 20% off. So that is over and above that percentage off that's already going on if you are an access customer. So what that means is, so let's say something is $10 and it's on sale for 40% off. So then it becomes $6. And then because you're an access customer, you get... Um, depending on what kind of access customer, you'll get a 10 or 20% off. Then use my code and you get an additional 20% off. So what ends up uh, starting off as $10 gets to be about half off. So you might pay $5. It's a great time to stock up on mats and blades and stuff like that that you're always using. Um, and you can never have too many new blades or new mats. So definitely take advantage of that. Thanks everybody for coming today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and then get your name in for the giveaway. We'll see you tomorrow for this really cute, there's really actually not too much to talk about with this card. It's it's a lot of cutting, um, and uh, I'm going to talk about how to put a uh, inside how to put a sentiment. And then I also want to talk about how I did this, okay, which is done in, in um, vinyl. So we will see you tomorrow for that. And have a great day. Another show and tell. That's right. Have a great day. I hope you get some crafting in. Take care. Bye.